So the situation is simple. I have a rolling Katamari ball and I wanted to pick up these cubes, which means I need them parented to the Katamari ball. But if I parent it at the beginning of the animation, we get this. And if I wait till it gets very close, like right here, now it's attached and I parent, um, it will stick with it from the beginning, which I don't want. I want it to pick it up. So we need to animate a parent turning off and on again. Here's how you do it. Uh, select your object, go to the constraints, and then an add object constraint, make it a child of. In this case, the Katamari ball, uh, which you can see kind of does the same thing. But the difference is we have this influence slider, which is the strength of the parenting. You set it to zero, it's not going to parent. And then on this frame, where it's uh, actually touching, so I'm going to keyframe zero, uh, hovering over, hitting I to do that. And then I go one more frame and I hit one. In other words, make it a parent, and I set uh, inverse. You're gonna see what this does is, it uh, only enables the parenting on at a certain point. And we can do this again uh, for our other object. So again, a child of constraint, the Katamari. I'm gonna make this, um, uh, I'm gonna clear the keyframes and I'm gonna make it so that it's influence zero in the beginning. And then just as it touches, so influence zero, and then just as it touches, we bring it up to one keyframe and set inverse. Set inverse just tells it to go back to the correct position. And you can see uh, we have trend parenting off and on. And you can also use this method to switch uh, which thing you're parented to, I believe, can you? Uh, yeah, you can add two child of constraints and have like the influences going, one's increasing, one's decreasing. Um, so there you have it. That is the gist of it.